First Timothy 1 verse 18. This charge I commit unto you, my son, Timothy, according to the prophecies which went before you, that thou by them mightest war a good warfare, holding faith and good conscience, which some having put away concerning faith have made shipwreck. Let me try and read it in another version. First Timothy 1 verse 18. Timothy, my son, I am giving you this command in keeping with the prophecies once made about you, so that by recalling them, you may fight the battle well. This is Paul instructing his son that by his son recalling all the prophecies that have been given upon his life, he may fight the battle well. So which means these prophecies were a very important tool for Timothy to be able to wage a proper warfare. In other words, uh, Apostle Paul was teaching Timothy that you, when you recall the prophecies given upon your life, you are praying according to God's will. What are the prophecies that have been spoken upon your life? The greatest prophecy that has been spoken upon our lives right now is the word of God. Apart from other prophecies that have, you have received either by uh, dreams, visions, or through a servant of God. But every word that has been spoken upon your life, it is the will of God for you. So you must recall them, put them in writing, pray in line with those prophecies so that you may be able to fight your battle well. I believe today you are going to fight your battle well by recalling all the prophecies that God has given you in your life. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for the prophetic words that have been released through the word, through visions, through dreams, through your servants, to anyone who is watching me right now, that by these people recalling them, they are going to be praying according to your will. And everything that you have prophesied in their lives shall surely come to pass, and they shall be able to stand in faith in the name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you.